for me to teach or to reproduce, you need to have systems and you need to have training. You need to be able to put things into like an algorithm that other people can learn and follow. Okay, so how to take all of this information, boil it down and keep a really a high level of individuality that could be individualized because every patient is different, but yet follows a basic algorithm that really starts with an assessment, assessment tools that could look at, again, movement, motor activity, muscle tone, sentry detection, processing that could also look at, you know, cognitive ability, academics, look at the immune system, look at the digestive system and put that all together as baseline testing, then would get different results in each person. But yet it all would come down to really people that fall into more right brain delays with left brain overactivity in different networks or left brain delays with right brain. And the bottom line is two things that really make what I do unique is the understanding of brain developmental trajectory and these retained reflexes and how brain development is delayed and maturity creates and this delay, but then how that results in this imbalance. And those two things are intricately tied together with one another. There was this method that I put together to really handle the most difficult things like bipolar and schizophrenia in adults and non-speaking autism and OCD and tics and really, really high level things. And that evolved into the Melillo method.